Welcome to Mothman Jones, the movie channel. I'm your host, John Maffio, and today's featured film is Resident Evil, the final chapter. But is it, though? As the story goes, Alice, played by Mila Jovovich, must return to Raccoon City, the place where this all began, in order to end this entire predicament once and for all. Jorah Mormont, he is the main villain. He's been a villain in previous Resident Evil movies. He's been killed, but now he's returned. For some reason, and he's got the only antivirus, the antivirus that will put an end to this once and for all. So Alice, going to Raccoon City, teams up with friends, new and old, including Ruby Rose, who was in a thousand movies in the year 2017, evidently, in order to stop this guy from propelling the true end of human civilization and Earth as they know it. I can understand why there is a liking for these movies. Um, as stupid as they are, they do present some kind of fun, and they do come with the brand of Resident Evil, even though it's only Resident Evil by name, Umbrella Corporation, Leon Kennedy, Jill Valentine. The movies use characters and institutions by name only. So it's just like, oh, here, here are some fun characters you recognize from games. Watch them kick ass and do things that humans can't do. So having said that, I can see where the liking comes from. But I never really liked these movies. But... As I always do, I always go in with an open mind, no matter how crappy I may seem to cynically think a movie will be going into the theater. I walked out of this movie not liking it a lot, but the more I think about it, the more I hate it, and I'll get to why. But let's talk about what I liked first. Mila does bring her A-game physically, as she always does. Um, she's only in these movies because her husband directs these movies, and they both need a paycheck in order to keep the mortgage going, you know? But she does have a presence on screen, along with Jorah Mormont, both of those actors have screen presence, and they allow the movie to be somewhat watchable, because you actually kind of care, because their acting and their performances are decent. When the movie allows them to, they do kick true, honest, and genuine ass. There are moments where this movie actually allows fun to happen. Very, very small parts, but it does happen. And the tone of this final chapter, evidently, we'll see, is consistent with the logic, the campiness, and the ridiculousness of the previous movies. If you've seen the others, then you could definitely see this fitting in with those. And that's it. Now let's get into the official rant of Resident Evil, the final chapter. Ooh, boy. Not that I expected characters from this movie, because it hasn't really been a sense of character development or characters in general for this franchise, but I at least expect characters to, like, be what they are supposed to be characters but there is nothing here they're all literally pieces of cardboard that happen to move and breathe from a sound perspective the movie is obnoxiously unnecessarily loud and boisterous ever just jump scares every five seconds for like the first act of the movie I've never seen more jump scares in a Resident Evil movie usually this movie's more about the badass action but in this one they decided to try to make it somewhat you know, tension filled. So every five seconds it's like a jump scare. And it feels like every time bullets go off, like the volume would just dial up DBs. The movie from an audio sense tries to make things sound epic without actually going through the effort of making things epic. It just thinks that if you make things louder, then suddenly things are more, you know, bigger, badder, crazier. No. There are a couple of visual effects with creatures that I actually did like, but there are also other parts where the visual effects look like they belong in like a early 2000s Britney Spears music video. I kid you not. The movie story also makes no sense. Now that I see and looked up things, I can't even get into it, but like, even the way the last movie ends, things that lined up from Resident Evil 1, Apocalypse, Extinction, Afterlife, Retribution, this movie just goes in a totally different direction. That makes no sense in relation to the other ones, and I don't understand why. I guess they just couldn't pay the actors from prior movies, or they couldn't find the budget to actually make the story coherent, but it's incomprehensible. The action sequences, when they take place, they are choreographed, filmed, and edited in such a way that is so embarrassing. They literally got every angle possible from every parameter every possible place they could place a camera for every action sequence on top of trucks on top of buildings in rooms and they would edit it they would cut away to different camera angles i kid you not 
every second, maybe less than a second. There was a point where I clocked out completely. I started counting how many cuts there were and like one part where Alice is like fighting one of the Umbrella Corporation officers. And it's literally, I counted like 12 or 13 cuts in like 15 seconds. <laughs> But I just don't understand. Isn't it easier? It has to be easier to have two or three cameras at most and just let a scene unfold. No, you know why? Because that would take effort. Because that would mean that the actors, the stunt doubles, everybody had to put in an effort to actually make these scenes look authentic and legitimate. They did this. I just realized in my head that they did this to avoid showing the laziness and the complacency by the crew and cast. You cannot honestly watch the action sequences in this movie. And I can't stress enough how it makes the movie unwatchable. Because without the action sequences, what's the point of watching Resident Evil? The final chapter. There is none. I can go on all day, but I do not want to give this movie any more exposure than I already have. Besides the fact that it's a shit movie and you shouldn't watch it. Unless... You really genuinely care about this franchise. Going into my overall statement, Resident Evil The Final Chapter is a movie that, to be honest, I could see being enjoyed if you liked the other movies, but there's a part of me that even if you did like the other ones, the other ones actually had action you could actually see happen because they're actually given effort in some capacity. In this movie, the action is choreographed and filmed so incoherently and embarrassingly that it's hard to understand how anybody could watch it and be like that movie has some good action you can't see the action how can you defend the action in this movie but if you don't care about the franchise you're certainly not going to be won over by this one um what could have been a decent vinyl chapter even though this connects in no way to the others when it should have even if it doesn't the movie could have been serviceable if we actually were able to see what's going on on screen but because we can't the film is boggled down, and all we're left with is a really crappy, ridiculous story that makes no sense. And when it comes down to it, the film is just unwatchable. I'm giving this movie a 1 out of 5. It's a nuisance, but it's the most generous nuisance I've ever given. Ever. But now I want to know from you guys, what did you think of Resident Evil, the final supposed chapter? Where does it rank among the other Resident Evil movies for you, if you've seen all six movies? And would you like another one if this movie made money? No. If you enjoyed this review, please like and subscribe and share because all that really helps. Please, please, please. And also check out my social medias, my Odyssey page, and everything else down below. I'm John Mafio, aka Mothman Jones, and I'll see you guys next time.